All right, guys, today is the day. Ugly Baggy Bash! Yeah. As you can see, we have our really cute costumes. I'm uh, Winnie the Pooh. I'm Piglet. <laughs> I'm so excited to experience the Oogie Boogie Bash part. They had some of the Halloween stuff kind of activated last night, and it just made me so much more excited because it's going to be so fun. We've got a game plan. We know what we're doing today. We are not going to dilly dally. We got the rides and the food. All right, guys, we are in Oogie Boogie Bash. We're making a beeline to Incredi Coaster. That is the first thing we want to do. It only took 30 minutes. 30 minutes, baby! Riding the Incredi Coaster! And the baby is gone. Edna! Dash, go get him! Coaster. Um, we rode it yesterday in the dark. This time it was in the, the daytime. Still just as fun. That was it just now. It was a lot of fun. Um, honestly, I liked it both at night and during the day. What'd you think? I thought it was amazing. Super fun. A lot of fun though. Definitely one of my favorites here. All right, so we've got the ghostly double cheeseburger. It's got um, we got guacamole on the side, pico, two um, patties, cheese. I think this is like a roasted jalapeno. And then we got a slice of onion rings instead of fries because it sounds delicious. It smells really good. We also got the oogie boogie um, green apple lemonade with raspberry syrup, and then popping boba. I'm gonna get a little sip. Oh my goodness. That is so yummy and sweet. A little sour because of the lemonade, but the flavors are so good together. And it does give me that Oogie Boogie vibe. That's a fun drink. I definitely recommend if you come during Oogie Boogie Bash. Onion rings look nice and crispy, have a wonderful smell. I like to dip, uh, dip it in ketchup. Mm. It's not super crunchy, but it's got a really good flavor. That's a good onion ring. I like that. That looks good. So here is a good view of just how massive this burger is. <laughs> Up to my face. That's huge. It smells so yummy though. I'm ready. I'm ready to take a bite. Here we go. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, spicy! It's the ghost pepper. Mm. Oh my goodness. It's got like a bean spread on the bottom. That is so. Oh, that's spicy. <laughs> that is so yummy though. Oh, that's definitely a 10 out of 10. 
Yes. That does pack a heat to it. Um, at first, it tastes like a like a burrito taco mm -hmm. with the bean paste. Oh, this tastes amazing. It's not juicy. It is kind of dry, but I mean, you know, they're mass producing in the back, just getting it out. But it's still really good, even if it's not juicy. It's still packed with flavor, and the heat goes under your tongue. Again guys, the ghostly double cheeseburger was absolutely amazing. If this item was a mainstay, I would get it over and over again at the Smoke Jumpers Grill. And then the Oogie Boogie Apple Lemonade was also phenomenal. We're in line for Spotty. We made the cut! Yeah! On your visit to the Worldwide Engineering Brigade Open House. And now, our project lead, the brilliant, Ow. oh, oh. Uh, Peter Parker. Hey, what's up? I'm Peter Parker. And here at Web, we got access to some pretty awesome tech like Vibranium from Wakanda, or this crazy alien juice stuff. We have Pim Hardware and Star Tech. So yeah, the Spider-Man Web Slinger ride is a pretty cool and interesting ride. It's very interactive, pretty refreshing when you're going on a bunch of roller coasters. You have to wear these 3D glasses and you get an eight seater pod that rotates and yeah, you'll see how the ride goes. Spider-Man. Uh, we just finished the Spider-Man ride. I was not very good at it. I'll just say that now. I had the lowest score, but it was a lot of fun. Definitely makes your wrists and your arms sore because you're like... <laughs> but it was a fun ride. I've never done anything like that before, so definitely check that one out. We are going to get some alcohol drinks. Yeah. Alright, so they have exclusive drinks only for like the Oogie Boogie Bash. So if you have a wristband, you can get these drinks. Um, the one we're going to do is the Tropical Melon Cocktail with Life Potion Bottle Glow Cube. Um, it has melon, peach, and mint liqueur and orange and pineapple juices. So that's going to be really good. We're going to get it and show you guys. It's going to be located over at the Hollywood Lounge. So the drink comes with the Worms War Potion, which if you don't know, that is from Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, it is glowing. The liquid doesn't actually come out, but you can turn it off. It won't turn off for me. There we go. It does turn off, but here is the drink. It is a beautiful green color. Oh, it smells so tropical and fruity. Let's give it a sip. Oh, wow. That is a tropical drink if you've ever had one. That is very yummy. Um, very refreshing. So this is such a cool drink. I think it's definitely worth it. A little pricey, $24, but you get to keep the little cool globe. How fun is that? <laughs> okay, so we actually discovered after playing with it, you have the off switch, the on switch, which is just red, and then it pulses. <laughs> so that's fun. <laughs> It has like a, it has like a cucumbery like lime taste afterwards. Yeah, but when you first take a sip, it definitely has a uh, like a pineapple. Very yeah. Uh, pineapple very, juice flavor. Yeah, pineapple juice, melon yeah, juice. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Oh yeah, I would definitely get this again. All right, guys. Now we're moving on to award winners, and we're gonna get this exclusive. Halloween hot dog. They also have another exclusive Oogie Boogie snack, but today we're focusing on the Taka dog, which is a sweet and spicy pulled pork with fiery tropical chutney served on a toasted bun. I'm ready for these hot dogs! <laughs> They're big. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god! <laughs> Wow, 
that is a long wiener. <laughs> I'm excited to dig in. I guess just... It's got that good skin crust. Ooh! The sauce is kind of spicy. Mmm! Oh, oh, that's spicy, spicy. Wow. Okay, so we got the Taka dog, which has sweet and spicy pulled pork with um, a fiery tropical chutney. Um, I took one little bite. The sausage is, it's, a, it's like a beef dog, I think, but it's a very rich, um, it was a very rich bite. The skin was like a nice, perfect crunch. I only got sauce. I haven't gotten to the meat yet, but that sauce is nice and spicy, packed full of flavor. Um, this is definitely such a good deal. I, I will say that. So the pulled pork is very tasty and really nice barbecue sauce. It's also spicy. And then together with the spicy sausage, it's just spiced immediately. I love it. It's juicy. It tastes wonderful. Definitely a must try. Ooh, that pulled pork is so good. It adds a nice like sweetness to it, I think. That's really yummy. Now we are headed to Guardians of the Galaxy. Yes, the trick-or-treating has started, so we're hoping maybe the lines will be a little shorter now. All right guys, now we're making our way over to the Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout Ride, or as it's known during Oogie Boogie, Monster After Dark. Baby, we're about to go in. Forgive me, I didn't really get a good angle for filming on this ride. Also, I didn't want to have my phone out the entire time. I was actually afraid of losing it. So I kind of messed up recording on this one, but for what you can see, I hope you enjoy it. Cozy Cone Motel, which during Oogie Boogie Bash, they're like almost like jack-o'-lantern cones, if you can see. But we are gonna get the slow burning mac and cheese cone here. We've been talking about it um, this whole trip, honestly. I'm so excited to try it. Ooh, thank you so much. It smells so good. This is my cone. It's my slow burning cone. So we got the slow burning uh, cozy cone, which is mac and cheese, and then it looks like hot Cheeto dust on the top. But I'm excited to try it. Let's go. Let's go first bite. Mmm. That has, ooh, it has really good flavor, and it has a bit of a bite. It's not overwhelming, but it's kind of like a slow burn, so it hits after a little bit in the back. It's in the name, yeah. It's the slow burn in mac and cheese, so that's good. Hey okay, guys, we got the chocolate vanilla twist. <laughs> Amazing. Is it super, super creamy? Guess where I got it from? Bomb.com. That's how good it is. Bomb.com. <laughs> All right, catch you later. Catch you later. Bye. <laughs> we got a fan. <laughs> You're looking at one souped up hero. We just saw Lightning McQueen. He said, Kachow! <laughs> we are about to ride the Mater ride. It whips hard. We saw some people and they were like, So we are ready to get some whiplash here. Senor Buzz churros. We got the pain churro, which is supposed to have ghost pepper. So it still smells sweet, but I can smell that spiciness. Let's try a bite. It's 
I've got that spicy. I feel it on my tongue. It's like a sweet and spicy. That is so yummy. <laughs> so the spice, the pain doesn't come immediately. It takes like a couple seconds, but it like slowly, it like slowly starts to build up, but it comes from like the back of your throat and the tongue and it's just like, <laughs> that is so delicious. If you like spicy foods, I highly recommend this. All right guys, now we're over in San Francisco Square. We're at Casino Cucamonga, and we are getting the queso birria tacos and the San Francisco style street corn. Thank you. Beautiful. This looks glorious. This is the queso birria tacos. They look nice. These are fresh. The street corn looks absolutely criminal. It Look looks at that. Bomb. It's massive. I mean, oh, it's got some heavy weight to it. Like, look. It's massive. It smells delicious. Oh, it smells like it has a nice smoky flavor. I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite. I don't care. Sorry. Oh my god. Wow. It's like an explosion of flavor. Everything is so well balanced. Like it's not too salty, it's not too sweet. Oh, I don't even know. It almost tastes like like a crawfish boil, the salt and stuff seasoning. I feel like they added that to it. 10 out of 10. That is so good. I will say my I think my only complaint about the corn is that it's it's kind of cold. Like, it's not freshly hot, if that makes sense. But the flavor is absolutely amazing. Birria tacos are next. They're very nice and warm. Get a little dunkage in there. The beef has a really nice, juicy, flavorful taste to it. It's not super fatty at all. It's not dry at all. Um, I feel like they probably could have put a little more cheese but overall, it's got for good flavor. The, the shell is nice and crisp. Yeah, it's nice and crisp, so this is very good. I'd say maybe just a little more cheese and it would be a solid 10. I like to add just a little bit of sour, so I squeeze a little bit of lime onto it to give it that extra flavor. Oh it's like the cherry on top, honestly. Mm. So we kind of forgot to mention about it earlier. Um, with the birria tacos, it comes with consomme, which is this like liquid that you dip your tacos in. And um, it kind of has like a beef juice taste to it. It's what they cook the beef in. Um, a little salty, but overall it was pretty good, pretty um, traditional flavor that most birria plates have. So I really liked it. Yeah, it's really good. Nothing to like rave about, but like, it's still pretty good. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, now is that time. We are going trick-or-treating. Trick-or-treating! Let's go get some free candy. Oh, he actually looks like her now. It's brutal. Happy Halloween. Thank you. You're never too old to trick or treat. More candy! <laughs> I got carrot. I got carrots. Mother got the. But what do I know? I'm told I'm the perfect mother, so you understand, don't you? Mother's knows best. Well, mother does know best. <laughs> I know, you just wanted to hear me say it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I understand. Oh my god, <laughs> that is so cool. We're coming up on the main entrance area of California Adventure and it is so pretty. I see Captain Hook. The cool thing about Oogie Boogie Night is that when you walk around, you see a bunch of the villain characters. Alright, so I think we're in the most popular line, which is right next to Disney's animation building. 
You got to meet Oogie Boogie in this lane. Oh, there he is! So, if you are all trick or treat, well, we do have a few treats. But more importantly, a lady of treats! He pointed at me. He pointed at me. He talked about me. <laughs> You're trouble, apparently. <laughs> when we saw Cruella, she asked Haley to do a catwalk down the red carpet, which was funny. All right. We got 2319. One of the things I got in my treat bag was those go go squeeze applesauces. It's literally one of my favorite things. I feel like a child. Okay, maybe I. It's been a child security breach for the first yes. time in so monster exciting. history. We can neither confirm nor deny the presence of it. Oh, good. Oh, Mike Wazowski. Ooh, Mike visit him in a uh, new Asgard oh. and to uh, hit up Valkyrie because she's the one who's in charge of the tours right now. <laughs> well, look here! Are you a pig? Yes. Wonderful! <laughs> and you've brought along a bear, I suppose. I have. Wonderful, my dears. Are you having a terrible time? Yes. Absolutely. Yes, good. Just the way you give what you would like. Yes, exactly. Yes. What does that button say? Uh, not the shoe. Not the shoe. Sammy. You look so sad. You all knew this was coming. <laughs> you wanted it, didn't you? Yes. Yeah. Especially you. <laughs> yes. Guilty as charged. <laughs> what a pity. Taste, yeah. taste, taste. I dare you to break it. Oh, it's oozing out. We're walking into Villain's Grove. So as we're walking into Villain's Grove, this is just more of like a light show that they have, uh, as well as just a fun trail to go on. So please enjoy the walk if you'd like. Um, if not, you can skip towards the end. But this is just a really cool atmospheric trail during Oogie Boogie Night. It smells so good in here. It has like a nice smell to it. Oh, I love this.
This is really pretty right it's here. So pretty. It's like we're walking into heaven. Oh my gosh. I'm blind. <laughs> That's gorgeous. Wow. So we ended up catching the last parade, which I think started at 10 o'clock at night. And it was actually really awesome to see. I'm glad we caught this one. And I would say, honestly, wait till the last parade because you can get so much done uh, before this parade starts. So that would be my advice. But to each their own, for us, we saved the parade for last. And I think that worked out best for us. Last minute candies. Thank you. Happy The big size bag. Had a blast, but it's nearly 11. I think it's time to call it. We got a hefty bag of candy. All right, it is the end of our Oogie Boogie Bash. It was such a blast. I had so much fun. We rode so many rides. We did. We got to see almost every character. A lot of characters, yeah. but well, I think the only character we missed was Ernesto. Yeah. Only because every time we went over there, he was done performing, so he had to like, you know, he took a break, so he left. Yeah, kind of a bummer. However, I think that is the most character interaction I've ever had at Disney, ever. So yeah. that was a really fun. Um, we also had a bunch of amazing new foods today too. Yeah, I think the most interesting, it's not my favorite, but the most interesting one that we tried today was the pain churro. Oh my gosh. I've never had a churro that cost so much pain, but it was so <laughs> delicious, we just kept eating it. At least for me, my favorite item was probably the burger. Yes. Or, or the hot dog. Oh. Well, mine's going to be the burger. Hot dog will be very close second. But that burger was so amazing. That is all we got for you. Thank you for checking out this Cozy Experience video. We hope you like it. If you did, make sure to give us a thumbs up and tell us what your favorite part of the video was or what your favorite thing about Oogie Boogie Bash is. And we'll catch you in the next one. Peace!